Mr. President, please, how is it to run an organization with so many different interests and opinions of members' organizations? Good question. And I try to answer it because we face is a federation uh, of uh, all the hunting associations around Europe. That means that we have a lot of different culture, hunting cultures, uh, and, and we have our different uh, issues to take care of in our own countries. So we have to find a way to uh, together and, and work in Brussels because we are different in hunting culture, but we have one great thing, and that's the passion for hunting, which is uniting us in Brussels. And what is your ex expectations and anticipations concerning the European elections that are coming uh, very soon? It could be both a threat and an opportunity. We know it's going to be a different uh, parliament after the election. We know that uh, we have to try to set up a new intergroup hunting as we had since, I think it's since 84. And that is very important that we can manage to do that after the election in the fall. Uh, I really see that every hunter has to go out and vote. It's important for, for hunting and our hunting culture. And do you think that uh, FACE as well as uh, national hunting associations should actively support candidates that, uh, that have mind or pro-hunting mind or who are hunters themselves? I think it's important that our, our association uh, explain for the hunters what different parties and what different politicians uh, think of hunting. And I, I'm sure that every hunter can decide up in themselves who is a good politician for our interest. So I think it's very important that our association really get into the parties and the politicians and ask them what they want to do for hunting because we are a lot of hunters out there and we have to make our vote strong. You said previously that 75% of legislations and laws are coming nowadays from the European Union. So, uh, for example, what about firearm directive, uh, disarming directive? What are activities that FACE is taking? We, when, we had the, when it was coming up from the Commission, you know, in, in Brussels you have uh, three institutions. You have the Commission, the Parliament, and uh, uh, each government, at the Council. Uh, and, and when the Commission presented the, the new uh, firearms directive, I know that we were working around the clock because it was a terrible uh, uh, firearms uh, directed and presented. Together with all the national hunting association, we did a fantastic job. It could be a lot worse than it is, a lot worse. I know, for example, that your association have done a very good job. Thank you very much. Uh, and I know that your government have done a good job, and we are happy for that. Just congratulate you for that work. Thank you very much. And, and, uh, and now it's, it's, it's already decided in Brussels. Now it's up to each country to implement it. So, so it's a hard work for each country right now. And what we do in FACE is that we have a working ammunition working group that inform each other from each country what's going on. So we can learn from each other. Uh, what are you doing? That's good. If my country or someone else knows what you do and what's successful and not successful. So that's a the strength of face. Mm -hmm. And there is one other topic which is associate. Uh, it's uh, a, a let ammunition ban. So that should be, that should happen maybe in three, four, five years. So what is, uh, what is activities and position of face in this topic? We have a position today that is that we are uh, saying OK to ban uh, lead over wetlands. For the rest, we have a working group that will set up a, a new position for the General Assembly in September. Hopefully, we can make a decision in September. What's important, you say, you think it's going to be legislation on this in four to five years. We have to decide, should the hunters take the steering wheel and drive this towards where we want it? Or should someone else take the steering wheel on this you know, road? 
And I believe it should be the hunters. We should be the one who decide how we will handle the lead and some other issues when it comes to ammunition. I think it's very important. And what do you think about various isms like environmentalism, veganism, political correctness and those isms? What is what is your opinion about it and what, what do you think what its influence on, on our hunting uh, activities and hunting culture? We've seen a lot of this in the past few years. We see it in, in I think we see it in Brexit and we see some other uh, you know signs out there. We have a lot of anti-hunters. Uh, I think it's important that we really protect all the hunting cultures that have been out there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, it's not easy, but you know, when it comes to Brussels, we have one lobbyist, hunting lobbyist, towards 30 anti-hunters. So that's why we're working hard in Brussels to protect uh, our hunting cultures. Yes, and uh, with this respect, what do you think uh, about future of, or, or direction of, of, of hunting and gamekeeping. Should we stick with uh, traditions or should we follow uh, modern trends? Both. We should follow both. Tradition is important. That's our inheritance. That's, we really have to protect the tradition of hunting because it came out, it came out a good thing out that we are, we are managing manage the wild, the, the game. So that's important. Uh, we, we should tell the new world, how should I say that the urbanization is the world trend. They are not born with hunting. They don't know so much about hunting. Therefore, we will be active in social media in the right way to, to show what hunting, game management are in our culture. I think that's important. So we should both yes. protect and, and work for the new. You see, Game meat is, I think that's the key role to, to show uh, urban people that we are doing something good. We have a good product to, to show them. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you see European uh, hunting and gatekeeping in one year, five years, 15 years? And what are the biggest and the worst challenges and how to cope with them? The biggest challenges are uh, against the anthem. Uh, they play a lot with emotions and feelings. Face and all our members are evidence-based organizations. But when you play with feelings, you have easy to, to uh, fund money, uh, to raise money. Uh, so the anti are well-funded in Brussels. They have a lot of employees. They work good together and they are very good at PR and, and communications. I think that's where we have to be stronger in the future, to be stronger in communication, to tell the story of our heritage, our hunting tradition. And Mr. President, at the end, what is your final message to Czech hunters? I'd say that you have already done a terrific job with the firearms directive, keep fighting, and get out and vote. That's the most important now. Get out and vote for the politician that you believe in would do the best job in Brussels for our inheritance. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Tak toto byl rozhovor uh, s Tobiornem Larsonem, uh, nově zvoleným prezidentem uh, Evropské myslivecké federace FACE, tedy federace, která zastupuje 7 milionů evropských myslivců se sídlem Bruselu. A pokud se vám takovéto informace povzbudivé i méně povzbudivé líbí, tak stiskněte tlačítko odebírat zde 